which means for everybody else, it's going to be a bunch less than 10%. Okay. And this is just of phone numbers that you get. So uh, if, get, if you get 10 phone numbers, one of those at best at a high level is going to convert. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about the cold hard truth regarding the percentage of phone numbers you get that are going to turn into sex, okay, in order to set realistic expectations. Okay, a lot of the coaches in this industry, a lot of the, the different schools of pickup, schools of seduction, tell you that you can close any girl if your game is good enough, or that, or that I've had, even Sonny Arvado in the past used to say he never gets flaked on dates, okay. Flakes are part of the game, okay, rejections are part of the game. Any coach that says otherwise is lying their ass off, okay. Now I'm going to tell you at a high level, okay, I'm at, currently at 1,256 girls. This is the amount of phone numbers on my phone, okay. At the time of making this video, 12,408, okay. So 12,408 contacts, 12,000 or 1,256 girls closed. Okay. So it's roughly a 10% close rate. Okay. I'm going to go into the details of that and how you should set your expectations realistically. Okay. Before we continue, please subscribe below. If you have not already new videos every day at 2 PM Eastern time. Um, additionally, we've been having some amazing conversations with guys on the phone. Okay. There's a link in the description. It's a 30 minute free call. It's helping us take a lot of data in terms of, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where guys are having the most issues. Okay, I've been coaching for over 10 years, but I see from these calls, okay, here's a bunch of overlap. In modern time, a lot of guys are stuck on this area. But the, the core areas seem to be guys either have a, a ton of trouble approaching, okay, or they have a ton of trouble on what to say in the interaction, what, what should I do, et cetera, or um, how to run their date, how to do their texting to get the date set up, or how to close back at the house, and then once they're past that part, how to retain the girls. So those are kind of the big key areas. But if you have any interest in getting your whole game diagnosed and getting a game plan from us on how you can fix it and get advanced very quickly, click that link in the description for a free 30 minute call where we go over that stuff with you. So 10%, okay, and I talked to Paul Jenka, who's now married. I have an interview with him on my channel. He was a New York City day game legend who also worked a lot of volume like I do and, and he his what he was doing in terms of his volume and lead working is very similar to mine he said and he said it's about 10% as well of the phone numbers and other top guys he's talked to and other top guys I've talked to that seems to be the consensus which means for everybody else it's going to be a bunch less than 10% okay and this is just of phone numbers that you get so uh, if, get, if you get 10 phone numbers one of those at best at a high level is going to convert. Okay. Most coaches will not say this. There's a, there's a scam product out there called Pandora's box that was created by a team of internet marketers. And they say in their sales presentation, something like 87% of people that get the Pandora's box system have their first threesome in the, in the first week. Okay. hundred percent bullshit. Okay. And it, it pisses me off because they can claim those things in these sales presentations and everyone's like, wow, okay. Like I have a great chance of having a threesome. I'm going to buy it. Okay. Other fucking idiots like squat and Casanova, Okay, the, the Asian coach based out of Las Vegas who said like six or seven years ago that he doesn't even like talking to girls anymore. Okay, it was just like Krauser on the, on the roast of Bradicus and I did. And we're in, in 2015, he posted publicly that he's bored and sick of the game, okay, even though he was putting up numbers like 15 girls in a year, which is like a, a decent month, like a good month if you're at an advanced level. Okay, and he's doing that in a year because he fucking sucks. Just like Squat and Casanova says that every single one, he literally claims 100% of his students get laid on his weekend training. Okay, I cannot claim at my level, having been with 1,256 girls, I cannot guarantee that I will get laid on a given weekend. Okay, there's a lot of variance. There's a lot of things out of your control. This, is a, this isn't a perfect, when your game is at a very solid level, there's no guarantees to close. You just give yourself good probabilities. It's the same as poker, same as chess. You give yourself good probabilities. There's no guarantee that your move is going to produce a, a win 100% of the time that you make it. Now, why is this an important video? Why, why does this matter? 10%, right? Should this get, make you discouraged? Like, oh, you know, I originally thought I could close most of the numbers that I got. Now that I know that I can only close one at best, you know, I should feel bad. No, this is to set your expectations more realistically. Okay. Because there's a whole bunch of variables and, and variants, and different things that goes into each one of these leads or each one of these situations with the girls, but the normal state of affairs, is a bunch of rejections. The normal state of affairs is a bunch of flakes, etc. But you can still get terrific results when the dust settles. Okay, it's not, 
it's not some fucking sad life banging over a thousand chicks, right? Like in terms of results, you can still get crazy results, okay? Even though the numbers are what they are, the 10%. So as this relates to like sales, for example, like I did door to door sales a couple summers ago to see how it relates to game. And the best salesmen are still running into people's houses, like where the person slams the door in their face, fuck off, slams the door. Oh, I'm not interested, slams the door. It doesn't matter if he's the best salesman in the world or the worst salesman in the world. Okay, same is, is true when you go out in the club. Hey, can I meet real quick? Oh, fuck you. Can I meet real quick? Uh, doesn't even acknowledge you, whatever, okay? Uh, hey, can I meet real quick? No, I'm, you're not my type. I think this about you. Who gives a shit? I've been on a bunch of client calls this past week, and guys get so deflated, okay? It's like, okay, I, I'm going to try to think I'm worth something, uh, but then when this girl tells me that she doesn't like that I'm not tall enough, or this girl tells me that, that I should fuck off, or this girl tells me, like, get away from me or whatever, okay, now I have no worth because this girl... No, okay? You take the best salesman in the world as an analogy, and you go. she goes to the door, and someone slams the door in his face. If he knows in advance, like I'm telling you here in this video, that that's a lot of the times the normal state of affairs in terms of some people aren't going to want to be interested in your product. Okay. You're, you're putting forth your best self. You're putting forth, you're marketing yourself essentially. Okay. To these women and not all of them are going to like it. And I'm not one of the coaches that says looks don't matter. That's one of the dumbest things anyone could ever fucking claim. If looks didn't matter, everyone would have completely equal playing field on Tinder. Okay. Like it's basically saying like your physical appearance has like literally zero sway in, in what the girl likes. No, of course looks matter. Okay. But you can't change things like your height or your ethnicity, okay? Optimize what you can. I say this all the time. Optimize what you can. Maximize your sexual market value. Don't be fat. Don't be super skinny and rail thin. Look like you could be broken in half like a twig. Okay, don't wear really shitty clothes. Don't stop doing personal hygiene. Okay? Don't fucking walk around without deodorant on. You know, don't let your beard get all crazy and all this shit, right? Just do... <laughs> I'm like making this video like unshowered. I'm about to go to Muay Thai in like 10 minutes. Point, point being... Optimize what you can, put forth your best self. Whoever doesn't want it, who gives a flying fuck? Okay, my old business partner that I originally started my company with used to always say to our bootcamp students, if, if so-and-so girl doesn't like me, who gives a shit? There's a hotter girl right around the corner that's gonna suck my dick tonight. And that couldn't be more true, okay? And, you know, luckily we don't live in small tribes anymore. Okay, we, there's billions of women, literally billions. You should not care anymore ever again about girls that are not interested when you put forth your best self. That doesn't mean run around like a fucking ass clown. That doesn't mean do a whole bunch of fancy, gimmicky, dancing monkey shit like RSD advocates, okay? Because then no one, you're not even gonna get anywhere close to the 10%, okay? You're gonna be, you're gonna be right around the 0% mark, okay? When you're acting like a fucking clown. Okay, so that, that doesn't mean like, okay, whoever doesn't like me, that's, that's fine. I'm going to go be a fucking retard. Okay. No, still optimize your sexual market value, optimize your, the best game that you're putting forth. But also then this key part of this video is to have realistic expectations that it's not going to work out with most of these girls. Okay. But it's a funnel. Okay. So let's look. Okay. Here's your funnel. You're putting in your leads from night game, day game, online game. Boom. Okay. The, depending on your skill with night game, day game, and online game, that's how many leads you're going to get at the top, okay, on average. So you need to work on that part. Then, how many go down to dates depends on your texting skill, okay? I have my leads machine product devoted to that, sexleadmachine.com. Okay, if, you're, if your text game sucks, that's going to close the funnel up, okay? It's going to be very minimal what gets through, okay? If it's really solid, you're going to get a bunch of them through to dates. Now, how do you run your dates, okay? Boom. There's your, that is that part of the funnel. If you run your dates consistently pretty well, I can close about 85% of my dates. Okay. There's some percentage that are just too prude or you have terrible chemistry, which is rare, but it happens. Okay. If you can pass a lot of them through, then you sleep with those girls, right? Then your retention game at, at the very bottom of the funnel. How good are you at retaining the girl so that she wants to see you again? At this level, almost every single girl I sleep with it's like very obsessed with me and this isn't bragging like, like someone's like oh your last few videos have been bragging yeah because i'm cementing the fact that i'm the ultimate authority at this and because i see too many i'm on the phone constantly with guys that are like i'm gonna bring something on my channel it's the same fucking story i just spoke to a guy yesterday he was a virgin he is still a virgin but he was a virgin when he took a program with rst tyler a year and a half ago it was tyler and, and six students Okay, and he said Tyler was just running around being a fucking clown like usual in the club. They learned nothing. 
he felt like he made backwards progress. Okay, a year and a half later, he's still a virgin. He said no one got laid on the program. This is same fucking story every time. And then guys are like, why are you, why are you defending Tyler, or why are you bashing on Tyler? Like, he's done so much good for, no, he's poisoned the shit out of the industry. He's ripped off countless people. He's put a lot of people back in, in progress, and, and they're dedicating time, effort, and money in a million cases. And I've heard a million stories, and I've seen a million terrible things. And the company is totally, 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 totally off the rails, okay, and, and doing shitloads of negative things for men everywhere. Okay, thank you, Tyler, for that. And it's just sad, right? So I don't remember my point that, that the fucking guy um, is still a virgin, right? Okay, now he's going to take training with me and actually fix the problem, okay? But I hear this shit all the fucking time, okay? The people, their, their funnel is breaking down somewhere, okay? But my point is, like, the amount you can retain at the very bottom there, then that you end up with, like, a six-girl rotation, 12-girl rotation. I can build a rotation in a new city starting from scratch in, like, two to three weeks, okay? I can have, like, four to six pretty solid girls in two to three weeks, and then build it up to like 10 within like a month, okay? It's not that hard. It's all just very systematic and clients can replicate this. Okay, so just take away from this video that a realistic expectation, okay? That not every girl is gonna work out. That doesn't mean that you suck. It doesn't mean that your game sucks really, really bad, okay? Just follow the system that I put forth and why, keep your funnel as wide as possible, okay? And then at the top, of course, volume is always king. And that puts the most things through, okay? Because I've been in situations where I've been really, really busy with other stuff. I stopped putting many leads at all into the funnel. And if you're only working with three or four leads, you, there's not much you can do, even with the best game in the world, okay? Even, or even with very high-level game. You just, it just can't pass through the levels. There's not enough put in at the top, okay? And it's, you shouldn't, and that's a, lot, that's a lot of guys' problem to begin with. Their, their game sucks, but then they only have a few leads to begin with. And then, like, okay, none of them want to meet on dates. Game over, okay? Back to feeling shitty about yourself. So I hope that was helpful. If you want to learn how you can widen that funnel as much as possible and how I can help you get from wherever you're at to a very advanced level very quickly, hop on a free call, 30 minutes with either me or my coaches. Link is in the description. Subscribe if you have not already. I'm John Anthony. Take care out there. And the real rate is 10%. Okay, that's, that's the real figure. And no, that should not be uh, depressing or, or intimidating to you. It should, be, it should help you realize that, hey, a bunch of girls are not going to be into it. A bunch of girls are going to flake and fall through the cracks. But the silver lining is when you run solid game, you can still have the dating life of your dreams. Okay? It's not that big of a deal. Just stop trying to make it work with every girl. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.